On the 20th of July, 2003, just a week after winning the world youth title in Sherbrooke, Canada, Usain Bolt lined up in the 200-meter final at the Games, 1,912 miles away from his home country. Despite running on tired legs, Usain Bolt ran an incredible race which left the world stunned. As the 16-year-old ran through the tape to record 20.13 seconds in the 200-meter final, a brand new world youth record. The time removed his previous world record of 20.25, which he set a couple of months earlier, and ushered in what was to be one of the most iconic reigns in athletics. With Usain Bolt going on to own the world junior and the senior world records in the event, 20.13 stood on challenge as the fastest time for every sprinter under the age of 18. That is until 17 years later, when Arian Knighton took center stage at the American Track League. Knighton garnered quite a reputation prior to this meet, starting at the USA Junior Olympics, where he became the fastest youth in his country's history, recording 20.33 seconds, surpassing to Brian Blanton, who ran 20.37 way back in 2001. The meteoric rise of the American sprint prodigy would continue, which resulted in him for going the rest of his high school career by signing with Adidas, setting his sights on the professional ranks. Well, at first you would think it would be difficult to make his mark as a professional sprinter at the age of 17. Well, think again, because at the American Track League, he absolutely shocked the world. May 31st, 2021, Arian Knighton lined up in lane three, set to compete with some of the fastest men on the planet. Among them, Trayvon Bromel, the world leader of the 100 meter in lane five, with Adam Jamili, a sub-20 sprinter, also in the lineup. The focus was not on the teenager, but more on the competition between Jamili, Bromel, and Zarnell Hughes, who was in lane seven. When the gun went, it was a moderate start for all the athletes, but as soon as they hit the curve, Nighton was right up on Jamili and Bromel. At this point, Bromel was still in front, and coming off the turn, Knighton looked set to hold on to third place, with Hughes and Bromel fighting for the first position. However, with approximately 30 meters left, Knighton began opening those long strides, going past both men, and ran through the line, winning impressively. The win itself was a major shock to the field and those who were watching, but the time they saw on the clock was even more of a shock, as they saw 20.11 seconds, meaning that Knighton became the fastest youth sprinter in history, removing Usain Bolt's world record set in 2003. He is officially the first sprinter to remove any of Usain Bolt's 200-meter world records at the youth, junior, or senior levels. The implications of this run is massive, because he now puts himself in a position to be a strong contender for an Olympic berth at just 17 years old. Despite the strength of the American sprinters at the moment, that 20.11 could just be the warm-up for the Olympic trials. It also sets him on a path which makes one wonder if he is truly the next great sprinter, because to break a record belonging to the fastest human in history is one of the toughest feats in sprinting, regardless of the level.